What do you think, Rico? Hmm? What? What do you think? What do you think? Shh, power tools. Hey, it's Rich Birdsall, and we're at another Odd Jobs. This is George Miller and Jim Willard. We're here with the Impact Project. What are we doing today, and what does the Impact Project do? Impact Project comes in and provides merger, major home repairs for homeowners that cannot do it themselves, and trying to bring them into a sustainable situation, which they're presently not. Today, we're here today to put in landscaping, painting. Uh, we're redoing the whole property. Basically, we're getting a little tape and spackle going on inside with some interior stuff and uh, that's pretty much it for today. Awesome, I see you got a whole gang with you. They were on lunch and I pulled them up and, and you got them up here to say hi. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Whatever you do, you can see everything. There is a paint bucket behind me. Look. I got it, I got it. Don't let me trip, oh, thanks. No, 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 I got you. How's that? That's very good. We'll go to the next task. You can put it down. Bam. We'll take you back and we're going to... Uh... Now what are we doing? We're going mulching. We're going to put down... We're going to go mulching. Bam. All right, so we're going to go throw mulch. I've, I actually have done this before. So we're going to put it over the top of the rubber because the rubber keeps it so the mulch doesn't get bad so quickly. Correct? That's correct. That's correct. And uh, so now where do all these kids come from? They're coming from Wego Free Academy and Sus Valley Schools. They're part of a program that's for University of Binghamton called Liberty Partnership. Mm -hmm. And then we have people here from Home Depot as well. We're pulling them all together. We got some other miscellaneous people and we got about 35 people here. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, so let's go do some mulch. Yeah. I may have just covered up a plant. Now you're the expert here. You said you've done this before. Well, yeah, I mean, anybody can throw down wood chips. <laughs> yeah. I got a new technique for George. We live in the southern tier where our winters are particularly hard. I'm gonna use this like a salt bag. You see what happens. Ah, good idea. The uh, key is supporting the back end of the bag, George. Ah. What you got? If not, I'd have to say it's mulched. You ready? Come down here. We gotta pull this out. He's gotta cut it. There's a line on each side. Pull it out and cut it. Because this, that's the way these are just gonna set. Exactly. Right. Exactly. You're not actually making a fence. It's just kind of like a, a corner. Right. Exactly. All right. So okay. Cool. So. You have, I mean, how much juice is in it? They're gonna trust me with power equipment. I'll go down with it. There you go. Lower. You are there. There you go. Bam. That's right, buddy. Shazam. Oh. Shh. Power tools. <laughs> Yeah, well that was already electrical tape. That's how we do it. There's no band-aids. No band-aids. Electrical tape or nothing. One more in the bottom, George. We're not a juice, George. Yeah, I think that's Solar powered saw. I'm gonna invent that. You leave it sitting out, it charges itself up, you saw a couple things, right? I probably shouldn't be trusted with this anymore. Just keep me in mind when you come up with your solar powered tools. So you guys, I really appreciate having me come out and hang out with the Impact Project. This is a really great cause. I'm so happy to have been able to do that today. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Jim, thank you. Oh, wrong, wrong hand. Wrong hand. Yeah, that's, right. that's our jobs. <laughs>